Sponsored by GinandTonically.com for all your gin and tonically needs. Hello gin lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman and today my friends, I am officially excited because my friends, my friends, esteemed colleagues, viewers from around the world, I almost knocked it over then, but let me introduce you to Jaffa Cake Gin. Now then, now then, for those of you who do not know what Jaffa Cakes are, my friends, you are missing out. It's basically, I've got a little plate of the fellows here. So these are Jaffa Cakes, okay? If you can see them there. So they're essentially, they're little cakes that are in the style uh, in the in shape of biscuits or cookies if you're in America. And they are so delicious that even if you hold one in your hand in front of your face, it's impossible to go. Sorry about that. Let me try again. If you hold one in front of your face, it's actually impossible. Okay, I'll try one more time. It's actually impossible to hold one in front of your face with that. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Basically, they are really, really nice. They are essentially a layer of cake, a layer of orange jam or jelly, and then covered in chocolate. And in this country, they have been a national institution. I don't know if they, perhaps they're available in Europe, I don't know. Perhaps they're available worldwide, let me know. But I seem to be under the impression they're only available in the UK. Now, my friends at the Master of Malt uh, Distillery have come up uh, with a wonderful idea of combining the extraordinary, uh, delightful taste of Jaffa Cakes with a gin. So it, it's, it's daring, it's out there, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I am extraordinarily excited about trying it with you today. But as always, before we get stuck in, thank you very much to my extraordinarily brilliant sponsors, ginandtonically.com. So then, my friends, let's have a look on the old website of Master of Malt to see what they say for themselves about this extraordinary gin they have created. Consider the Jaffa Cake a timeless treat. Now, if something is delicious, the chances are someone will make a gin with it. That's very true. Jaffa Cake Gin is distilled with oranges, fresh orange peel, cocoa powder, and Jaffa Cakes. The result is just as you'd expect. A full-on Jaffa Cake tastiness built around a distinct base of crisp juniper. Well, my friends, I don't think we need to read any more. Let's get the top off this little fella, shall we? So then, peel the old top off. Chuck that over there in the time honor tradition. Over she goes. Now then, my friend. Oh, it's 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 what I call a dangerous gin. One of those ones when you unwrap it, there's there's every chance of lacerating your hands. So I'll do this very very carefully. And what have I discovered here, my friends? It is indeed a cork, and we know what that means. It's the cork test. The cork test. So, you know the drill. We try for the squeak. Let's have a look. Ooh! Oh, hang on. It teased us with the squeak, then it disappeared. One second, here we go. Hang on. There it is. Ooh, quite a deep squeak. Deep, deep sort of resonant, sort of earthy squeak. I like that. We'll go for the full pull. Here we go. Oh, I don't believe it. I smacked it on the table. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hang on a second. shattering but all the same a very healthy pull we like it very much excellent work jaffa cake gin so my friends i literally cannot wait let's get it in the old glass shall we and do the old sniff test it's not as orange as i thought it was going to be and if you can see it there it's slightly less colored as i thought but that does not matter let's smell the, the old fella my friends there we go mmm <laughs> now then, this actually puts me in mind, and I thought of this originally, the only thing I can sort of think that was anywhere near this gin was the old, I don't think I've got it, oh, it's a tiny orange bottle up there on the shelf, the old Sip Smith's Orange and Cacao. Cacao, I'm not sure it's cacao or cacao, it's basically chocolate. Orange and chocolate gin, which I loved. I absolutely loved it. I didn't think how, didn't know how cocoa could ever work in a gin, but oh my God, it is my guilty pleasure. So can it live up to the name? Here we go, my friends. Jaffa Cake Gin, cheers. Holy, oh, it's a bit stronger than I thought. I thought when I first, saw this gin sort of uh, being sort of touted about on social media, I thought to myself, oh, come off it. There is no way that's actually going to taste like Jaffa Cakes. It's impossible. It's impossible to do. It's just a bit of a gimmick to make people buy it and it will just taste a bit orangey, right? That, <laughs> I don't believe it. 
it is Jaffa cakes and it, it's oh god damn it it tastes just like Jaffa cakes it tastes exactly like Jaffa cakes but mixed with gin which sounds like a really obvious thing to say but they've cracked it they have not only have they have they uh, uh, succeeded they have absolutely nailed it bang on the head let me have another blast hang on I can't believe you can smell it, it, it you can smell it even more when after the tonic has been put in there. It's just it released those sort of chocolatey flavours as you those aromas as you sniff it. So not only do you get the taste of all the jaffa cakiness, you also get the uh, it sort of preps you by sort of filling your nostrils with that sort of uh, sort of chocolatey waft. It's just out of this world. I mean th that honestly that has got to be the most exciting original and just wonderfully joyous gin I have tried in a long long time on this channel it's fantastic and another good thing you still I always say as everyone should say as, as every gin drinker should say it's still got the juniper in there just about the tiny hint of it just holding just grasping onto the fact that it is gin and I am a bit of a purist but I don't mind you know I, I, I like sort of the exploring these weird and wonderful flavors it's literally got everything so my friends i think today if you're looking for a gym that's really just going to make you smile if you're a big fan of the jaffa cakes or even if you're not i would say get the jaffa cakes first not everyone likes them i don't think my girlfriend likes jaffa cakes but i would say try the jaffa cakes first because you'll appreciate it way way more um but get out there try it and please let me know what you think but this as far as i'm concerned i have to say the pit to the people of master of malt keep up the good work and do some more take some more biscuits because and make gin out of them because you seriously you cracked it with this one so how much is it going to cost you well I, for that sort of experience i would quite happily bust straight through my top bracket of 30 pounds i'd pay up to, to, to about 40 quid for that because that's just it's something special it's worth paying for however it comes in at a very very pocket friendly and reasonable 27 pounds. I don't know if it's available further afield, but just to give you an idea, that equates to about 33 dollars or 29 euros. And that is worth every penny to get that level of enjoyment. So I say to you, my friends at the Master of Malt Distillery, keep up the bloody good work because that is amazing. In fact, give us more. Put all sorts of food and biscuits in your gym because whatever it is, I'm going to be buying it. So my friends, what a video today, what a video. It's, it, occasionally you get these wonderful ones like this and I'm just, I'm so happy I've done it. I'm just desperate for you guys to try it and really, really wanna know what you think. But um, in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've found it useful or entertaining or anything else, then please don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the little like button so I know that you're watching and liking. And of course, if you want to support the channel, don't forget to head over to my Patreon page where you can become a channel supporter and have your name in the credits of the videos. And of course, thank you to my sponsors, ginandtonically.com. But until next time, guys, I am Bobby Freeman. Stay safe and keep drinking the gin.